All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing a beer from Westside Brewing, and they are out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And this is their barley wine style ale. So this is an American barley wine that comes in at 11% alcohol by volume, 67 IBUs. At the time of review, this can is just under three months old. And I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to a good friend of mine, fellow beer tuber, Rod over at Rod Beer Ventures for hooking me up, not only with this beer, but a bunch of others. In the description box, I will post a link to not only Rod's channel, but the beer mail unboxing video I did of all the beers he sent my way. And he sent me a lot of local goodness. And when I saw this one in the box, I was like, all right, American barley wine, just a you know regular American barley wine. Let's see what West Side can do with this one. So on the back here, it says brewed once a year in December for release the following January 1st. Our barley wine style L is a beer to drink fresh or age. In intense with a subtle date-like fruitiness that goes perfectly with a big layered malty body. Classic American hops add a firm bitterness and a bit of dryness to the finish to help balance the malt. So yeah, I've never really heard of West Side, so I'll be curious to see how their American barley wine uh, goes. On the date, they have 1-1-2019 for the release. The canned, the canned on date, though, is like, yeah, it's the 12-29-18. So at the time of review, like I said, this is just under three months old. So let's give it a crack and see what we got going on. Not going to get crazy here, man. This is a big beer. Can't get too crazy, you know what I mean? Anyway. Yeah, that pours out like an American barley wine. Um, I recently did a live review of Bigfoot and Barrel Age Bigfoot, and this kind of looks like uh, Sierra Nevada Bigfoot. It has that really like coppery orange color, uh, relatively uh, filtered, about a half finger of a light tan head, and yeah, it just it just looks like a very very well made, nice American barley wine. Lots of alcohol legs. Let's get a nose on it. Wow, this is. I was expecting like a big, like hot presence. You know, it's under three months old. When you drink something like Bigfoot, you typically get a big uh, hot presence. Sometimes for years with that beer. With this one though, this is all about that malt character. Oh, I feel like Brad Allison would not be a fan of this one. I know he doesn't. I know he doesn't like like huge malty beers, especially in like hot forward beers. But this one is just like all malt. When they say dates, I'm getting dates, figs, raisins, blackstrap molasses. Caramel toffee, big burnt sugars. I could just go on and on with the tasting notes, but this is like huge, huge malt presence to this one. Yeah, oh man. It has a little bit of like an orange marmalade thing going on too because of the hops, a little bit of citrusy, like orange, almost, excuse me, grapefruit quality to this one. It doesn't smell boozy though. It smells kind of like a fruitcake, honestly. It has like this big like brown bread character um, that's like kind of holding all those fruits, uh, you know, on top of it. So it's just like it's mixing so nicely. This is, this is, this is cool. It, if you don't like big multi beers, I can tell you right now, not even tasting this one yet. This one is not for you because this is all about the malt character at 11% being American barley wine. Uh, I think that makes sense. That's, uh, that's pretty much what they're going for. I always mess with this. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I usually don't. This is a beer patrol. What do you expect? Anyway, I appreciate uh, Rod sending this one to me. So let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. That's a big, big multi beer. Ooh. So first off, it kind of carries over from the nose, but this does not have a ton of hop presence. What the hop presence is adding to this one is a uh, slight to moderate bitterness on the back of the palate. So when they talk about like a balance between, what did they say? They said uh, firm bitterness. I wouldn't necessarily call this a firm bitterness, but this is again, around three months old, uh, but it has a decent bitterness to kind of offset that sweetness. 11%, this is higher side of medium body, so it's a bit thin. Q Eric Gilbert in the comments going, I'm surprised. Q Paul saying, it totally is. Q Chris saying, I don't know what he's going to say, but all three of those guys, when we talk about thinness of beer, they, they pop up. But anyway, this is a bit thin. Higher side of medium body, maybe lower side of full body. 11%, I'd want a little bit more heft there. The mouthfeel, kind of what you expect from American Barley Wine. It's uh, crisp. Uh, it, it's not really soft or smooth. It has a nice crispness. It's effervescent. It, there's, I feel like if you let this one age, yeah, the carbonation will be toned down a bit. But I'm fine with how this is relatively fresh. The taste, though, again, tons of malt. Caramel toffee, black strap molasses, uh, figs, raisins, big dark fruit. This pretty much drinks like a liquefied fruitcake. That's what this is. 
Uh, if you don't like fruitcake or you don't like darker fruits and you certainly don't like like a big brown bread presence, this one, like I said, not going to be for you. It is for me, though. I'm enjoying this one. Um, while it is quite complex and there's a lot going on, what I will say, though, is that 11% somehow they have subdued the characteristics of this beer for me, which is weird. It's, a, it's definitely a sipper because it has a complexity to it. At the same time, though, it's so it's, it's, it's subdued in a lot of the characters that I kind of just want to just throw this one back. I feel like I could drink this in like five, 10 minutes and be perfectly fine until the alcohol hits me and then I'm not. Yeah, so all those characters I talked about in the nose and in the taste, you know, big malt forward presence, passes through the palate. Um, you're hit with a, you know, a semi-dry finish on the end and you're, you're hit with a slight to moderate bitterness or slight to firm bitterness, as they say. Uh, this one has a nice complexity, as I said. It drinks relatively well. I just wish the characteristics themselves were more impactful. That said, for a brewery that I've really never heard about, and you know, tackling an American barley wine isn't the easiest of tasks. Some some breweries can do it. Some breweries can't. I'm actually enjoying this one. I think this was well made. So I'm going to give the barley wine style L from West Side Brewing. I'm going to give it a low four out of five. I'll say like 3.9, 3.95. It's well made. Uh, stylistically, it's pretty damn solid. And there's not much more I could say I really want from this other than intensity uh, to the flavors. Uh, because while you have, you know, a half dozen to eight different characteristics, most of them malt forward, uh, you're pretty much, you're pretty much left with a beer that in the nose promises all those characteristics, but you taste it and they're all dialed back like 25 to 50% which is fine. It makes it a little bit more easier to drink, but I don't know how well this one will age. I feel like they say it's going to age well. I could see this turning into something great. I could see that bitterness dying out, but I could also see this one losing some of the characteristics and being a bit, bit more dull. I'd be curious to see how this one ages. Wish I had another can to do so, but you know, Rod was nice enough to send me one and that's all I can ask for. But anyway, yeah, I, if you've had this one, let me know what you think about it. It's a really well-made beer and uh, you know, I just wish it was a little bit more intense. That's all. That's all I'm looking for. But at the end of the day, it's pretty damn solid. So barley wine style ale from uh, West Side Brewing. I give it a, like, we'll say like 3.9, 3.95 out of five. Quick jump cut because I forgot to mention something. 11% alcohol by volume. This does not drink anywhere near that. This is like in the eight to 9% range if I was doing this blind. It hides the alcohol quite well. I have a warming into the stomach from the chest, but on the palate, not at all. Eight or 9%. But anyway, that was... Barley Wine Style Ale from Westside Brewing. I give it a 3.9, 3.95 out of 5. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Thanks again to Rod for sending me this one, and cheers.